Hello, this is Dr. Danielle again. Last time we talked about the placebo effect. Isn't it amazing how having a briefcase on a table can change the attitude of a whole group versus having a backpack? There are also interesting people called the multiple personality people. They've been studied now. We don't really understand how they do it, but they are quite amazing. They have a shift of personality and all of a sudden a lot of things in their body shifts. For instance, a lady I had in one of my group had multiple personality and she said that uh, she always had several pairs of glasses on her, uh, on her table beside her bed because when she woke up in the morning, she never knew which personality she was going to wake up with. Depending on which personality she woke up with, she needed a different pair of glasses. Research shows that one personality can have diabetes and change like that. And all of a sudden, the diabetes disappeared just because a person had a shift of mind. The mind is truly an amazing thing. Have you ever been in a place where your mind was doing the thinking for you? You got a letter or a telephone call that uh, was not really positive and during the day your mind was thinking about it and thinking about it. You didn't go anywhere, were you just thinking and thinking and thinking? Well, Proctor had something funny to say about it. I think he said 2% of the population think. 3% think they are thinking and the rest would be speechless if we ask them what they're thinking about. What is thinking? We, we keep talking about that word thinking. What is truly thinking? Thinking is asking questions and getting answers. Whether your questions are uh, out loud or inside, what your mind is doing is just answering questions. As you learn to ask more powerful, more positive questions, you're going to get more powerful answers. So let's go with that premise that thinking is answering questions questions. What kind of question can you ask? Let's say you overweight. You ask, why am I overweight? Why can't I stop eating? The mind always will find an answer. Whether it's empowering or not, it doesn't care. It will answer. Why am I fat? The mind might say, well, because you eat like a pig. That's not very empowering. What would be an empowering question? How can I lose weight and have fun doing that is much more empowering. For the next few days, I'd like you to rephrase your question into something positive and add and have fun doing it. Instead of saying, why do I have so much debt? Why can't I stop smoking? Say, how could I stop smoking and have fun doing it? How can I make more money? and have fun doing it. Eventually your mind will answer. The answer may not come immediately, but it's a more empowering question and your mind will eventually answer. Listen and I'll talk to you soon.